Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mixed Media Monday. I am Ophelia and today we're going to play, be playing around with all sorts of things as I want you guys to use your negative space. And by that I mean um, we're going to create an art journal page and then we're going to take everything out except for the negative. It'll all make a little bit more sense as we keep going so I hope you guys will um, play along. To start this challenge, there's a couple of things that we're going to need. And I know my table looks a little bit full. Um, we don't necessarily need all of this stuff to play along. However, I always, always have my acrylic paints. And so we're going to be using, these are all Lucas, except for the one Sennelier Abstract. Um, the Sennelier Abstract, it's number 615. And then I have Lucas Krill Studio in Titanium White in rose, in carmine, fluorescent magenta, and then Indian yellow. So those are going to be the pinks that um, may end up making an appearance on this. Um, I'm going to be using my my trusty Polar Flow 700B. It's the Creative Mark I. Um, this one's just my favorite one that I usually grab for everything. So we're going to be using this guy. Um, I've got my gloves in a bottle because a lot of this stuff we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing with our hands and some other things. So I'm going to put on some gloves in a bottle. Um, I'm going to bring in some acrylic markers and I may end up using these or I may not. I just figured I'd rather have things out here to um, have at my disposal instead of trying to find them later. So I've pulled a bunch of markers. Um, and these are just Amsterdam markers or the Liquitex um, acrylic paint markers. Um, I also have some, a variety of acrylic inks. And I have some Liquitex, um, some FW, some Amsterdam, and another Liquitex that may make an appearance. Um, I've got some stencils here and any stencils that you have, um, just feel free to use them. Uh, even things that like around your house. And this is, um, all right, let's see if you can see it. This is the stuff that um, sequins are come out of. I think it's called sequin waste. That's, that's what we're gonna call it. It kind of reminds me of like the little bubble print or the bubble wrap it makes that same um impression so i brought some of this to use and then just a variety of other stencils the main feature stencil is going to be and now i've lost no i haven't <laughs> is going to be this um it's a marabou stencil and this one is a silhouette stencil called romantic butterfly um i know i want to use this guy as as more of like the um, the focal point of this whole thing. And then of course I've got some um, Marabou, their art sprays that I want to use. Um, just a variety of colors. You can pick your color schemes um, as we play. And of course, I'm gonna be using some black gesso to kind of create the negative space, which we'll get to as um, we keep going. So. I hope that you guys will grab what supplies you have. If you don't have everything that you think to make this work, the best part of the challenge is to challenge yourself to then improvise. So if this is something that you think you might like, then just keep watching. The first thing I'm gonna do with this page is I'm gonna go ahead and, um, yeah, let's just do it. I'm gonna go ahead and black everything out. At least I think that's what I wanna do. And I've, prep this page and we can insert links of a video that I did showing you how but I've literally just prepped this page with a variety of dictionary papers I've covered it with white gesso because I was not sure of which direction this was going to go and now that I'm thinking about it I think I'm just going to completely cover everything black so I'm just using some golden black gesso and I'm just gonna cover the entire surface of this. It's too late now if I didn't want it to be black. Okay. 
and I'm going to let this dry up and I'll be right back. What I do know that I want to do with this, I'm thinking, is keep all of my um, like ink and splatters and sprays to one side. Let's take this off for a second. To one side, because I think I want to save this over here for some, or this space over here for some sort of a, like a, a note to myself or a message or my journaling my journaling um, will stay on this side. So I think I'm gonna concentrate all of my splatters and um, craziness will go on this side of the page. And um, here we go. I legit have no idea where. I'm gonna use this first. Let's just, come on, take the pressure off. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here, I just picked up a makeup sponge with this, um, this stencil reminds me of like dots. So I'm just going to, well, that's because it is dots, duh. But anywho, so I'm just going to use this to kind of um, randomly go around on the stencil. And I'm going to put in some yellow and I'm going to use my gloves in the bottle because that's why we have it here. Okay, settle down. Settle down. I just got excited. And I'm just going to kind of randomly put it around and really without even cleaning the stencil off, I'm just going to pick up other different colors and um, just kind of clean around and to be honest you guys are finding out what happens at the very same time I do because sometimes I feel as though you can lift a stencil up and it it'll be great or it will be like a ginormous mess so um, I'm just going to Keep putting this around, switch this stencil, and maybe I want to see what happens if I use, and this is the, um, it's the Marabou spray, and this one's in Sunshine Yellow. So I'm going to give it a good shake. There's a marble inside. Um, I just want to see what happens here. Oh, let's just spray our whole hand. Oopsies. And oh, nothing because the page is black. All right. So I'm going to move that. And you can kind of see it some, but not really. Um, I'm going to dry this up for a second and I'll be right back. Uh huh. Okay. As I was drying that, I realized whew, that. With this background black, I'm going to be working backwards. So we're going to try something a little different and we're going to paint the whole thing all over again anyway. Just stick with me if you want to. It's okay if you don't. I get it. I don't like sticking with myself. But I'm going to, I think I'm just going to start putting paint on the background and let's just see what happens. Because... I'm working, I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know what I want to do today. I'm going to bring it all back, I promise. You'll see.
Now we're going to see if we can pull this back to something because all I've done was just played with my stencils and like layer after layer after layer of mush. So let's just see what happens. I am going to use this stencil and I'm kind of going to like, well, you know what? Enough talky, Ophelia. Let's just see what happens because I'm just as nervous as you are. I don't need this brush anymore, that's weird. Okay. Oh, this thing is right there. Is my head in the way? Always. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, everybody hold your breath because this can either be like, oh yeah, I meant to do that or all the sound effects you got. Boo! Okay, that was ridiculous. So I'm just going to use um, this makeup sponge. And this is where I'm going to create... I'm going to use the stencil to kind of... Um, what's the word? Use... Create... Like mask off, I guess, the negative of everything else. So you kind of won't even... See all the crazy back there? You'll just see um, the impression that's left by the stencil. At least that's the plan. And if not, I'm going to go home and try again tomorrow. I'm getting sweaty. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. Ming, if this goes under the stencil or... Nervous too. Ooh. And I'm just going to keep moving my stencil around because I have nowhere else to go. So here we go. I'm just going to, um, and I'm not sure if you guys can tell. So I'm using the top of my lid for the gesso and I'm kind of putting the makeup sponge into the lid. And then I'm kind of pouncing off the excess because this stencil is pretty thin. Um, I do like that you get very little seepage underneath. However, I don't want this sponge to be completely soaked with paint. So I'm just dabbing off the excess over off on this um, palette paper. And we're just going to keep going. And I am using this stencil to create um the negative space if you will because that's all i got that's that's all i got <laughs> Oh my gosh, my arm's weak. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my brush here to just fill in the rest. Because I think the sponge got it pretty good. Now, if you don't have um, black gesso, then you can totally use your black paint. And I'm going to let all of this dry up. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that that's dry, I think, I mean, that took a lot of, a lot of energy. So I'm kind of tired. Uh, let's do this because I made an interesting discovery in this again. It may work or it may not, but we're all going to find out together because that's what we do. Um, Online, it's the Jerry's Artorama, Artorama website. I found these little, they're like fine line caps things or whatever. And I thought, well, now let's just check this out. And so it's got like, um, it's literally like a fine tip needle. I don't even know if you can see this, but it's like a fine tip 
needle. Um, and I thought, well, now this is interesting. And basically, let's put the needle back on with your glasses. Uh-huh. And basically, this then, put our glasses out of the way. This can make anything with this cap into like a fine tip applicator. That's my thought. So we're gonna test it today. Um, and I wanna use some of these golden, um, they are called, oh, what are they called? Help me somebody. I wanna try it with these golden high flows, give it a good shake and I'm thinking then that I can use this and make anything then a fine tip applicator. So I've got one here and we're kind of going to try it out together because I'm thinking it should be able to write like so. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to use my newfound discovery to do, I think. So, just not right now. Just not right now. You know what? Let's just do it, Ophelia. Don't overthink it. Let's just go. So I'm going to use these to kind of scratch around the edges and kind of create a little border because now I don't know what else to do with them. And um, I'll put that back. Oh, and then Oh, I wonder if this, um, all right, this is Quinn Red. So, can you still see what I'm doing? Okay. Um, okay, I'm kind of grooving on this, and I promise I'm going to stop in a second. Then I'm gonna use some markers and you know what? I wanna start with this yellow first. And now I'm just kinda kinda doodle around. Oh wait, I need to write myself a note. I'm gonna let this dry up a bit and I'll be right back because I think I wanna do some journaling over here maybe. Um, so let me dry up the, the little squiggly border that I just put down and, um, so that I won't rub my hand in it. Um, and I'll be right, right back. Can we take a think break? Okay. Let's do this. Um, we're just doing it. Okay, I think I'm going to call it done. Um, if you're still watching, thank you very much for being here. 
Um, this one was hard because in my head it played out a whole lot different. But in the end, I think I like the way that it um, turned out. The challenge of the entire thing is um, that it, it, it doesn't have to be perfect or neat or as you've planned. Um, I think the good thing about a challenge is to just kind of keep it going and keep it going and somehow bring it back or just being okay with what you created for the day because um, you've been creative and you've used supplies and that's kind of what this is all about is just being creative or at least for me it is. So um, thank you guys so very much for watching today and for playing along. Um, if you decide to do this challenge where you create negative space, make sure that you tag at Jerry's Artorama and at Ophelia's Art Studio on Instagram. Um, I think that's going to be all for today. And definitely if you've got any questions, leave comments below. If you've got other ideas for um, challenges that we can do, definitely leave those below. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching today. Thank you for watching all of this unfold as I did and just... Thank you for being here. Um, see you next time. Bye. I keep waving like you guys are all going. Oh. Bye. Okay. Done. <laughs>